welcome back to my channel so today's video is a anti haul um, this is not kind of my anti haul slash will I buy just because everything in this video is definitely something I am not going to be buying and we are going to go over why I first learned about anti hauls when I watched Kimberly Clark's video. Um, she does a fabulous job at anti hauls, and I will have her link down below so you guys can definitely go check those out. So, we are just going to jump right into this. The first one is I will not be buying any products from this collection. Um, we got you guys already know how I feel about mermaids and unicorns, I have been over it for quite some time. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one. I do know there are people that still quite enjoy that. Um, however, I feel that they have dragged this unicorn thing out to death. So, but anyways, Too Faced is coming out with an entire collection of unicorns. And there is a palette with, I believe, 12 shades. It looks like there's a bronzer, a festival refresh spray, a rainbow strobe highlighter. Um, there is a magic rainbow strobing brush. Uh, they also have Le Creme Mystical Lipsticks. Uh, then you have Mystical Crystal Lipstick Toppers. And then, <laughs> as if that is not enough, you have Unicorn Horn Mystical Effects Highlighting Sticks. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of things wrong with this collection for me. Number one, like I said, we're in the category of unicorns. Um, I'm over that. I thought it was really, really cute at first. Um, kind of enjoyed it. And then it was time to move on. So this is no, something I no longer enjoy from myself. Um, uh, second of all, this collection um, isn't really done in a manner where I would want to buy it. Um, looking at it, I completely think kid makeup. Um, you know, I am all down about the whole cutesy thing um, from time to time. But, I mean, the eyeshadow palette looks like a rainbow. You have a unicorn in the bronzer. The highlighter is a rainbow, um, which you would have to combine all those together because there is no way you'll be able to get individual colors out of that highlighter just because of how small they are. Um, the... <laughs> The Unicorn Horn Highlighting Sticks. I don't know. I don't know. This is definitely just something I'm not interested in. I'm not interested in this at all. You know, I love their chocolate gold palette. I have so many things that I love from Too Faced. Um, I just feel like this is a forced collection. Um, you know, they are still aboard that train and they have not got off yet. <laughs> So, uh, like I said, everything from this collection I will be passing on. All right, so moving on to the next item. Uh, Becca is coming out with three new items. Uh, she is coming out with the Ocean Jewels Highlighter Palette. Um, she is coming out with the Ocean Jewels Eyeshadow Palette and the um, Liptuative Glow Gloss. Um, I'm kind of interested in the high that the highlighter palette but I will be passing just because of the fact I have so many highlighters and I feel like I have not dented in um, many of them so I definitely want to try and stay away from highlighters for a while um, so that is why I will not be purchasing that the eyeshadow palette um, I do like that they put in a matte this time um, however, if they are anything like this one right here, uh, I am not interested because, yes, I can use this and I can kind of get a look out of it, um, but it is not as pigmented as it should be in order to be called an eyeshadow palette. Um, however, I was lucky enough to catch this for like $22, so um, I was really, really lucky with that. So. The colors are pretty in this one. Um, I really enjoy the purple, so I kind of wish I would have been able to get this one versus this one, but it is what it is. Um, but I will not be purchasing that because like I said, if it is anything like this one, um, the pigmentation is not gonna be there. And uh, for me, Becca, 
and eyeshadows just do not go hand in hand. Um, I do think they need to reformulate a little bit more um, and actually come up with eyeshadows and not use highlighters as eyeshadows because I don't think that was a very good idea. Um, now the glow gloss, um, this is something I'm not interested in. It says it is a customized pink shade, a lip gloss that enhances the natural color of your lips with the ultimate high shine finish. It reacts to the natural chemistry of your lips, blooming into your perfect shade. Um, I think that is really, really cool. Um, but I just have a feeling if I put it on my lips, it's just going to be another gloss. Um, I am wearing a lip gloss today. Um, it is one of my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss. I really, really enjoy that lip gloss because I do get color from it. Um, so I will be passing on all three items from this collection. Next item on our list. <laughs> if you follow any of the bigger influencers, you know that they just went on a huge trip to, I think Manny went to Hawaii and a couple other ones went to Utah, which the place was absolutely freaking gorgeous. Um, I kind of had expected a bigger launch of an item because they did such a big trip for several influencers. Um, but it ended up being a <laughs> mascara. That's it. Nothing else. Just a mascara. Um, and it is the Benefit Cosmetics Bad Gal Bang Volumizing Mascara. And it says it's bigger, badder, volumizing mascara. Okay. I don't even know where to begin with this one because number one, I had expected maybe a bigger launch, more products for them to go so full out um, for as many, I guess, influencers as they did. Uh, but instead they just released one kind of one product, which kind of for me was just like womp, womp, womp. Um, you know, I understand why the influencers wanted to go, had to go, whatever. That's that's not up for debate. I understand that. But when they were given the mascara and they are putting this on, they're like, oh, yes, it's so good. It's so good. I mean, of course, you're going to say it's so good because you're here with the company um, and they're paying for this amazing trip. Of course, you can't say anything else other than it's so good. So I don't trust that opinion whatsoever. Um, but as they are applying it and saying it is so good, I do notice that, yes, it does kind of lengthen the lashes, but the lashes look super, super thin. Like, I don't know. It just, it was not impressive um, to me. I do have mascaras that are better than that. Um, that I highly enjoy. Um, you know, my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes is one of my favorites. It gives me the same length that that mascara would do, um, but that one also gives me volume, so it makes me look like I am wearing falsies. And then I have my Marc Jacobs. Um, I also have my Maybelline Last Sensational. So I am set on mascaras. Um, the packaging is bomb. I would have liked the product to be just as good, but from as many different influencers as I saw wearing this mascara, I was not impressed. So my little mini rant is, it's over. Let's just, let's just move on. All right. So Tatcha is coming out with a new velvety priming balm of pressed silk. Um, it is $52. It says it's supposed to blur the look of pores, fine and uneven skin tone, Primes with silk powder for a long-lasting, flawless makeup. Protects skin from makeup pollution. Uh, color corrects with universal shade for healthy, soft focus glow. It also has anti-aging Japanese superfoods that help restore the look of youthful radiance. That is a lot of promises. That is a lot of promises for one product that is $52. Not saying that it can't be done, but um, I don't know if I would be willing to pay $52 to see if that works or not. Um, that's just a little 
a little past my budget when it comes to a primer. Um, so I'm just basically going to stick with what I got. So we're going to hop back on board that cute train um, and talk about two more products. Uh, the next one is from Box. What is it? Uh, the crayon case. This is a box of crayons eyeshadow palette. Um, while I do appreciate that it is not a unicorn palette or a mermaid palette or anything of that substance, um, I don't know. When I look at this, I just want to give it to my daughter. <laughs> we were just playing with markers and crayons tonight, and I just kind of want to give this to her because it just it looks like a kid palette to me. Um, the colors look really, really nice, but if I wanted these kind of colors, I could definitely go in with um, any of my Juvia's Place palette. Um, plus, those palettes are really nicely designed. I love uh, the way that they look, and the quality on Juvia's Place is excellent. Um, so I can't speak for the quality of this company. I have never used anything from this one, um, but it's just in the cutesy category that I'm not on board right now. Um, so the palette is for uh, $30. So, yeah. The next item on that cute train is from Sugar Pill, and it is the limited edition Sugar Pill and Little Twin Stars Pro Makeup Collection. Um, I do know about the Little Twin Stars. I was into that kind of in my younger days. <laughs> um, but it's not something I want to make up. Once again, this even more so than that box of crayons um, looks like kid makeup to me. You have six shades, two, four, yeah, you have six shades for $38 for an eyeshadow palette. I understand that it is a collaboration, but six shades, $38, that is very, very steep. I don't care how much product you get. Um, and then the lipstick duo set for $36. And you can get the complete collection for $79. No, thank you. We're just going to leave it at that. No, thank you. All right, so we also have Morphe. They have come out with uh, two new eyeshadow palettes that have arrived at Ulta. Um, you have the 9C palette, um, which is like a bronzed eyeshadow palette, and I believe, uh, what was the other one? And they had one more eyeshadow palette along with this one. I don't remember the name on it. I will have that link down below. Um, I noticed that it had a pink shade that almost drew me in, um, but a real but I realize that I have most of these shades and all the other palettes I have from Morphe. I do have like six or seven different Morphe palettes. Um, and this is nothing that is like, yes, you have to buy it. Yes, it's not like the rest. Um, it just does not do that. I don't care that it's only $12. Um, I want something, if I'm gonna buy another Morphe palette, it has to be something that is nothing like my collection. Um, and I do believe that it's for a lot of people. A lot of people do have a lot of Morphe palettes and we are seeing the same browns and the golds and all these different colors that are, are exactly the same throughout each of the pans. So um, this I will be saving my money on. The last item we are going to talk about um, is a Makeup Forever uh, eyeshadow palette. It is car called the Starlet Powder. Um, it is a very, very pretty packaging. It really, really is. But it is, it is six shades for $45. Um, and they are all glitter shades. So I do feel like I have a lot of glitter shades. I I do have a lot of palettes um, that have shades that look exactly like this. So this is nothing that is unique. This is nothing that you can't possibly find in your own collection. Um, and especially not for $45. So, so we're going to be passing on all of this. All of this is just a pass for me. A hard, hard, hard pass. I don't need any of it. Um, and I really don't feel that you do either, to tell you the truth. I'm not saying, you know... I'm not trying to tell you guys what to buy or what not to buy. This is basically just my opinion. Um, and I think that these are all basically a waste of money. 
So that is it. I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. I will have that link down below as well. Um, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.